good morning to all of you now we are going to see the example of text watcher example now in this example what we have done uh, we have to fill up both the text boxes if the text boxes are filled then the button is enabled otherwise the button is disabled so this one kind of example where uh, the by default text box by default the button is disabled and when you put or uh, when you fill uh, on in both the text boxes or when you make the entry in both the text boxes then and then only the button is enabled so let's see how we have to make the coding for such kind of examples now first we we'll talk about the activity now here is the code for the activity we have taken the text view we have taken the edit text after that we have taken another edit text for the password so first text box for the username and second text box for the password when both the values are filled then and then only the text the button is get get enabled otherwise it is disabled now first the button should be disabled so here android dot enable is false so first we have to uh, make the disable the button should be disabled so we can make like this now we are going to check the exam uh, java program for the this text watcher now the class is the text watcher here we have to import text watcher now this is present in the package android dot text dot text watcher so first we have to import this class so this is present in the android dot text after that we want to make the text as editable so we want to make import of android dot text dot editable now the public class text watcher example extends this app compact activity now edit text are e1 and e2 so et1 and et2 these are the two text boxes and one is the button set content view when it means we want to initialize this uh, layout so r dot layout dot activity underscore text underscore watcher after that we want to make the initialization of the text box and button now we want to call a method add text change listener so this listener we want to call and we want to pass the login text watcher now login text watcher it is a method we want to implement outside this outside this method again e22 dot add text listener login text watcher now these are the two me two methods we have to call that is add text listener and i want to pass method text watcher now this is the method text watcher this is the code we want to write now private text watcher that will be the uh, return type method name is login watcher is equal to new text watcher now inside this <coughs> interface we want to override a method before text change now what we want to do before text change that is the logic we want to write over here we don't want to write anything before text change but we want to write a and we want to write a logic on text change so public void on text change the character sequence integer start integer before and count now first we want to take the input whenever there is a change in the text we want to take the input from the text box username and from the text box password so here it is one this is the object of the edit text dot get text dot to string dot trim dot trim means we are removing the white space or we are removing the space second that is it it2 dot get text dot to string dot trim now this is the button b dot set enabled username that is username dot is empty and password dot is empty so if both are not empty because here we are used not that means not user input dot is empty and not password input dot is empty then we have to make the set enabled we have to call the set enabled so for this set enabled we have passed both these values and <coughs> after test change i want to do nothing so i have kept this is empty just we have to write a code over here now when i want to run the code you will get the output so for running the code i want to make the change in the manifest file so here will be the text watcher example so 
now I want to save the file and I want to run the file Now this will be out. When you click on the button, this is disabled. Why it is disabled? Because in the activity file we have make we have done Android enable is false. So that's why it is disabled. Now when you write a code, for example, suppose I'm writing the values for text box, and when you click, still it is disabled. When I'm going to write over here. And when you click on this, it is enabled. Now, when you when you realize the output, when you click on this, it is enabled. So, if you remove this, it is going to disabled again. When you click over here, it is disabled. So, like this, you can make dynamic enable and disable. First, we have to make the enable or disable at the layout level, and in the Java file, we have to make this at the runtime. And for this. For this, we want text watcher class. So, this is the text watcher class. So, private text watcher implement these three methods. So, we have to implement these three methods first. I want on the text change, so I implemented this method. So, this was a code for dynamically enable or disable the controls. So, if you have any doubts, any questions, you can put on the comments. Thank you.